there is talk is about uh, C++ const correctness, and as a refresher, uh, just would like to offer this talk. Um, why? Uh, because I'm performing the review, I'm doing the mentoring of the junior team members. Also, of course, looking at the open source, and quite often, and even in the books, I see some issues with uh, with the constant correctness. As the things that I personally would uh, like to highlight, and there are some um, general recommendations that are quite often like oversought or sometimes neglected. Would just like to highlight them during this talk. So. Um, what is constant correctness? So the definition, I have not found like a very uh, strict definition of this, but generally this is a correct assignment of a constantness property, um, normally using const keyword. And also I would extend this as a consistent management of constantness for owned and shared objects and complex, and complex types. Why is it important? So, Constantness can enforce immutability. Immutability brings a lot of advantages. So if the object is immutable, it cannot be accidentally modified. So this is, provides some reliability and safety. Um, no race condition can happen while accessing this object because there is no writer there. So it also clarifies the purpose of some object for reviewer, for the reader, and also for the compiler that actually aids a lot the compiler optimization. So if the object is immutable, it, there are much more things that can be optimized around it. So for the complex types, it also allows to separate the uh, read-only and read-write uh, interface methods that somehow supports a more flexible uh, uh, encapsulation strategies, but it also at the same time requires following some of the strategies. So it's a bit of the requirement as well that the, um, the constantness for the complex time should be maintained. We will cover that later. So this importance is actually reflected in the guidelines and standards. So if we look at the core guidelines, there are a lot of items there about immutability and constantness. And in general, this can be seen that like by default, make objects immutable. So apply constantness wherever possible. Um, this is a recommendation, uh, but at the same time, if the one works with some uh, safety critical systems, uh, like for example in automotive, then already the, uh, some approaches are already mandated in form of the standards. Like in Autos RC++14, it is stated that immutable data is supposed to be uh, declared with const or const expression if possible. Um, so what I just wanted to cover here, when we are saying that everything should be immutable, so what exactly should be should and can be made immutable and marked as const? And the second thing, how the constantness can and should be managed in the complex types. Um, so let's go through examples. Uh, as an example, I see some cases of this accidental modification, and we'll just highlight the places where, in general, I quite often see the problems with the specification of the objects as const or immutable. So, here is the variable i. Um, in general, so it's of course can be modified, it's mutable, and it can be accidentally modified. So here is it's not the made up example. So there's uh, the examples of the problems like this that were found in open source uh, software. There are some reports on the online from, uh, from static analysis tooling. They quite often scan and see the problems that are available. The diagnostic depends completely on the compiler that is used and on the flags that are provided. So in general, GCC by default will not provide any, any diagnostics here. So CLANG is more restrictive, but anyway. So um, this depends. The more modern syntax uh, has the similar uh, behavior, so regardless of, uh, so auto is not responsible for constants anyway, and here the modification also happens, so we have the same level of diagnostics. Um, Here's another example. So we have a variable, we calculated some size. Then are we sure that the size after we call this function actually uh, has the same value? Actually, we can become a victim of the poor legacy design where we have input-output parameter where the size was modified according to some rules, like for example, some alignment was adjusted. So here, uh, just we have another, and diagnostic here, uh, uh, diagnostic here is, is actually the valid syntax as well. So to avoid this, the portable way of doing this, regardless of the compiler settings, is make this thing unacceptable from the syntax point of view, just to declare the uh, variable to be immutable. So here we can specify here as well, and of course our uh, uh, constant object will not bind to the uh, non-constant reference. 
if we can do something with const expressions, it's even better. So uh, if we can compile it on compile time and also hint the compiler that this can be done like this. So the pointers, similar thing. Here is the pointer, the pointer references the constant object, but the pointer itself is mutable. Here is the accidental reassignment instead of, instead of comparise it. As well, uh, not a made up example. Uh, here it's a slightly uh, more tricky thing. The problem is that, that we have some pointer to the counter and the precedence of actually decrement is higher than the reference. And as a result, we can go to the undefined behavior because we modified the pointer instead of the reference data. Uh, to avoid these problems, we can also make the pointers itself, the pointer itself immutable if we do not plan to modify it further. So if we get some address and we do not want to reassign it, it makes sense to make it immutable as well. Uh, this is an object that can stay, that by default should also be immutable according to the guidelines and standards. With auto, a bit of the tricky. So as we know that the auto deduction rules, it drops constant as it drops reference, so we, have, we will have, in case of this expression, and uh, we will have the just immutable copy here. If we want to have a mu if, if we want to have a copy, we need to make sure that if we do not, if it's supposed to be, if, we, if it's not supposed to be modified in the future, let's also make it immutable. If we want to have a constant reference, then we need to explicitly specify that we want the reference. Um, auto can be tricky with the pointers as well, uh, because here we have also. If we just take the address of some uh, non-constant variable, we have mutable pointer to mutable data. We can write something like this, and this will, the constant this will apply to the object, to the pointer itself. So this will be the uh, mutable, so it will be a mutable pointer to mutable data. If we would like to have some other strategies, depending on the use case, we actually need to explicitly specify where the constant belongs using the star, just putting out it in the correct location. I'm, by the way, using here the examples of the most popular approach. I think it's the west const, yeah, but in some, in some cases, actually, it's visible that the east const is kind of probably will be a bit more readable yeah, here. But I, I personally prefer east const, but uh, the 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 const west, yeah, so this is uh, the one that's more popular, just not, I think this makes sense to make examples like this. So, uh, same problems that are visible with the, uh, with the, uh, with the pointers can be also, uh, so, uh, can be, can, can also cure with the, uh, with the, some proxy types, like for example, uh, iterators. So here we have, um, by the way, this kind of the expression like auto, it, auto begin, then some, uh, some uh, uh, assignment of some iterator, this is very, very popular now because of course auto uh, eliminates the necessity to write the long qualified name, but at the same time it has nothing to do with the constantness of, for example, it's minimalistic, it looks very nice, but, at the, but it is vulnerable to the problems. Like for example, here's some custom made algorithm that actually optimizes it in a way that the iterator that is provided just used as a, uh, as, a, as an internal variable here, and at the at the end after the call, so beginning doesn't reference to doesn't uh, does not um, uh, is not pointing at the begin of the vector. So, <laughs> kind of if it is const, then it will not happen. So smart pointers as well, exactly similar uh, accidental uh, assignment. If we make smart pointer const. It will not be modified itself. The data that it references is not affected by the constantness as the uh, constant, uh, constant operators still return the, uh, uh, the uh, references and pointers to the non-constant data that is referenced. Function parameters. Interesting thing. So we have the function. Here, as an example, as a previous, uh, similar to the previous examples, the parameters internally within the function, this basically variables, that can be uh, vulnerable to the same problems. Actually, in the definition of, in the definition of the function, where we know how it is supposed to be used, we can actually apply the constantness here, just to make it, just to make sure that it's not modified if the parameter is not supposed to be modified. It is important that uh, 
this constantness of this object, it's not anyhow part of the, of the signature of the function. So that means that in the, def in the declaration, it probably would be some of overhead just to bring that in. So the one can just drop it um, in the declaration. In the definition, depending on the implementation, this can be specified. So it is, uh, it is like this according to standard. So my recommendation would be just to use it for the, uh, for the declaration, uh, uh, sorry, for the definition of the function. Some problem, some um, use cases where the const correctness is inhibited, yeah? So we can have some conditional initialization. Here we have some default value, then we reassign it depending on how it is, um, how it is um, on some condition. Let's not neglect the uh, presence of the uh, trinary operator that actually improves the situation. For more complex expression, immediate lambda invocation. So we have complex expression, we just immediately call the lambda. As a result, we can assign, uh, we can assign the value to the constant. Actually quite helpful for the function that have output parameters. If we have some parameter, so we have the value, we assign it, so we call the function and we get the value in the output parameter. We do not want to modify it. We don't want to be that it will be modified. So we can just wrap it like this. It will be optimized out, so the, the call to lambda will be optimized. So this, uh, this is, doesn't break an option. Now a bit about the objects. So if the object is accessed as const, the, this pointer is treated as pointer to const. This has the kind of recursive uh, consequence that we have all the properties, the bases are treated as const objects, and then only methods that are marked as const can be called. What is interesting here that this implies that, for example, if we have pointer, that the pointer itself, the object itself, cannot be modified. Also, with the const pointer, with the shared pointers, we also have the pointers that cannot be modified. The data that they reference itself can be modified, and that can be returned from the, uh, from the constant methods as well. So that means that it's uh, not, in, not um, propagated the constant to the own data, but only to the, to the object itself. And this requires us to actually maintain the constantness for the complex type. So if we want to have it um, in a consistent way. And there were several approaches that I would probably, we can highlight several, is basically propagation of immutability to the own data, um, to the owned objects, independent mutability of the owned objects, and also uh, um, immutable logical state. Uh, that is not the physical immutability, so not the real immutability. So propagation of the immutability, the bare minimum is at least to have the uh, constant overloads of the function just to return at least like the references or the pointers to the constant data. So this is possible, according, we, we just need to have these functions having the, in the constant version, we, we need to have the, uh, uh, a different return type. At least, there can be also other approaches how we can protect the access of this data uh, in the constant uh, of the own data, but this is the bare minimum. The idea is that we do not expose the, 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 these, uh, these objects uh, to, the, uh, to, uh, uh, to the client code um, in the constant methods. So with similar with the reference, Similar with the shared pointer, so we need to have the uh, uh, we need to specify that the the that we return the pointer to the cons shared pointer to the constant data. So it's also possible to maintain it in a way that we have some independent mutability. So the owner is const correct, and it is and it is. Um, uh, uh, it maintains the, the internal uh, data in the way that they were not modified in the constant methods, but the owned objects, they are independently mutable. So we can get like a, something like a pool that returns the object. What is important here that we do not provide the back links from the owned objects to the uh, non-constant uh, references to the owner. So, that, so we do not get something like this, uh, where we basically use the back door so we get the object and we get the owner and the owner uh, and the get owner returns in that way. Uh, and then as a result we can remove, so basically if we, for example, so we, we, just broke the, uh, we just break the immutability of the owner here. So this should be avoided, of course. And um, the, last, uh, the last thing is the in fact, in the, um, if we read like C++, uh, like README, uh, it is the recommended way um, 
the so-called uh, immutable visible state or just the logical immutability. So the if there are uh, so as a, as a classic example here is that is it's normally a container that has some internal cache and the cache is mutable um, and is specified using that it's mutable using the mutable key, keyword and within the function. Um, the cache can be modified because it improves just the, uh, just the performance, but at the same time, the similar calls to this method they will have uh, they will have this, uh, they will provide the same results. So the visible state from the outside from the client code is still the same. This is uh, an approach uh, that also reflects more the object that suits more the object-oriented design. So they are the logical state, like for example, here in the case of database, we can specify that, for example, iterate records is, some, is a constant method, uh, regardless of the fact that it can actually mutate some internal structures, like for example, different database proxies, different uh, connectors or something like this, but at the same time, it just reflects the logical state of the database. That means that iterate records do not modify and at record uh, modifies. At the same time, so it's not the real immutability. So that means that uh, it should be considered that access to this kind of uh, object, that it is not generally threat safe, yeah? So, and it has the side effects. Um, so, okay, so this is the, all for the examples and some of the recommendations, considerations from me, so let's reflect my opinion. Um, so, regardless of const correctness, yeah, so I would suggest to, of course, use the strictest uh, level of compiler diagnostics and maybe even use the static analysis tools, if possible, uh, not only because of constant correctness, it's actually very helpful. Um, of course, objects should be made constant by default, and actually this should be slightly uh, relaxed if necessary. Um, constant qualification for pointer objects should not be neglected as well. It's actually also. Uh, I would recommend to use auto for type only and actually explicitly specify if it is a pointer if it's reference or just to write it. No, I mean, for, for references, it's, 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 it's necessary for pointer as well. I would recommend to do this also applying the constant qualification depending on how you plan to. So I think this will be much more readable and also uh, helpful. And um, of course, consistency management for this complex type is required, and there's consistency, so someone, some of the approaches should be picked up and consistently followed. And the problem is that mutability of the internal data with the constant, within the constant methods it brings the fact that we cannot just looking at the, looking at the uh, interface, say that if something is thread safe, for example, so because we can have the constant methods that will modify in the data. So that means that unfortunately, there is no way of us, for us to learn this, just looking at the some interface of the class, this requires that we actually should take some extra caution when we are doing this, and probably just learn more about documentation or just looking into this into the source. So, if something is thread safe or not, uh, that's all from my side. Thank you.